हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ लेट सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट ईच ऑफ द टू लेग्स ऑफ द वेल्डेड फ्रेम हैज़ अ मास ऑफ फिफ्टी के जी राइट सो बोथ ऑफ दिस लेग्स हैव अ मास ऑफ फिफ्टी के जी सो दियर वेट्स विल बी एक्टिंग इन द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस ए एंड दिस सी बी राइट सो इफ यू फाइंड दिस ए लेंथ so we are given this two meter dimension and this two meter dimensions right so if we consider this triangle right and as we can see that on both side of this uh, x z plane the dimensions are same this is two meter and this is two meter right and this is two meters and this is two meters so this means that if we consider this point as an origin right so then this a o and o b distance and o e this uh, this distances are same right the dimensions are same so now if we find the ae uh, length right so ae length will be the hypotenuse of this aeo triangle so we can find that hypotenuse by using the pythagoras theorem so then this will be ae square and this will be equal to this 2 square plus this 2 square and if we take the square root so then this come out to be 2 square root 2 right so this is ae so the weight will be acting at the midpoint of this ae right so ae divided by 2 so then the weight will be acting at a distance of square root 2 from either end right so we can say that the weights will be acting in the negative z direction right we can represent those weights right so this will be the weight which will be acting downward right and similarly we will have the same weight which will be acting downward at this particular point c right right and if we if we draw a line parallel to this uh, x axis is right from this point let me draw a line parallel to that x axis right so this length will be uh, 1 meter and similarly this length will also be 1 meter right uh, if we add this uh, if we again find this let's say that this point is g and similarly this point is let's say h right so this g and h are the midpoints of this ae and this eb length right so if this is the midpoint so then this distance will also be 1 meters and this distance will also be 1 meters right and now we can write that the weights and the masses are 50 kg right so then the weights will be 50 into 9.81 and these two weights are equal to 490.5 right so we can directly write them as 490.5 newtons and similarly this is also 490.5 right so let me write it here as 490.5 newtons right and it is said that a wire from c to d prevents the frame from rotating out of the horizontal plane about an axis through its bearing at b and its ball and socket joint at a calculate the tension t in the wire and the magnitude of the total force supported by the connection at a right so at this point a we have ball and socket joint so there will be three reactions right so let's say that this is the reaction in the x direction let's say this is ax similarly there will be a reaction in the y direction so let's say that this reaction is a y and there will be one another reaction which will be acting in the positive z direction let's say that this is a z and similarly at this point b there will be two reactions right since this motion is allowed right there is no constraint on the motion in the y axis right so there will be one reaction which will be acting in the x direction this will be b x and there will be one another reaction which will be in the positive z direction let's say this is bz now if we represent this tension in this cd cable right so this will be the direction of the tension right so first uh, we will find this t vector let's say that this the tension in this cable is represented by this t vector right so we will solve this problem by using the vector analysis right vector analysis so first we will find t vector so t vector will be equal to t magnitude and the unit vector along cd direction and this will be equal to t magnitude and this unit vector cd is cd divided by cd magnitude and this will be equal to t and 
we can find the cd vector right so to reach that point d from c we have to travel this distance so this distance is one meter in the negative x so we will write minus one i and then we will travel one meters in the negative y direction so we will write minus j and then we will travel plus two meters in the positive z axis right so we will write plus two k and then the magnitude of this will be minus one square plus minus one square plus two square right so this will be the magnitude and when we solve this magnitude so this is this magnitude is square root six right so this is square root six and then we can represent this t vector right so this is t vector and this will be equal to t minus one divided by under the root six right so if we solve this so then this is t and minus one divided by square root six is minus 0 0.408 i similarly minus one by square root six is again the same thing right so this is minus 408 j and plus two divided by square root six is plus 0 0.816 k right so this is our t vector now to find this t vector we can find the summation of moment at point b equals to zero right if we apply the summation of moment at point uh, about the axis a b equals to zero right if we find this moment summation of moment about this a b axis is equal to zero so as we can see that these three reactions this reaction at a and these reactions at b they are intersecting with this uh, a b axis so they will not produce the moment about the this a b axis is right so this means that we can eliminate these two reactions from our calculation and that will give us the value of this tension t in this cable right if we find the moment the summation of moment about this a b line right so we will use the vector analysis right so as we have learned that to find the moment about a specific axis what we will do is that we will find we will find the moment by using the cross product method right so we will write r cross w right as we can see that both of these weights are producing the moment about this a b axis is right so we will we will write r cross w and we will define the moment arm for both of these vectors from this a b axis right so if i define the moment arm so this will be let's say let's say that this point is x and the moment arm for this weight will be let's say this is y right so we can say that r x y cross w and since we are finding the moment about a b axis right so we will take the dot product with u a b unit vector and u a b unit vector is equal to a b vector divided by a b magnitude right so if we find this so from a to b we need to travel 2 plus 2 total 4 meters distance in the positive y direction right so we will write plus 4 j right and there is no need to travel in the x direction and there is no need to travel in the z direction and the magnitude of this vector will be 4 so this means that 4 and 4 will cancel out so we will only be left with the j unit vector right so as we can see that this a b axis is, is the same axis as y axis is right so we can directly write that u a b unit vector is along the j axis is right so we can write that this u a b vector is basically the j axis is right so this is j dot r x y cross w right so this is the vector triple product right i i have already discussed this in some of the sample problems right so this is j dot r x y cross w this is the scalar triple product let me write scalar triple product right and then we will write plus and as we can see that this rx um, this rx this uh, for w the moment arm is rxg right so let me write that this is rxg i have written it rxy but this is rxg right so the moment arm for any 
force will be a vector from any point from the axis until the uh, any point on this uh, weight vector right on that force vector right on the line of action of that force vector so this is our xg cross w plus we will again write j dot multiply by the moment arm for this t vector and as we can see that the moment arm for this t vector we can define this yc as moment arm right so we will write yc this will be the moment arm cross this t vector and again we have written this for only one weight so as we can see that for both the weights the moment arm vector will remain the same right this r x g is equal to r y c and is equal to so if we find this moment arm vector so then this is plus one units in the positive x direction right so we will write plus i and similarly this is also plus i right so this means that uh, both the moments arm for both of these weights is same right so that is plus i so this means that we can since the weights are two weights so we can multiply this by two so now how to find the treble product right so he, i have already discussed it so we will write the determinant and then first we will represent this j vector so this is zero and this is one and zero the i and k term for this vectors are zero right similarly our x g is plus i right so we will write one and j component is zero and k component is zero and similarly the weight vector and we will write this two outside right so this will be two right we can write this two here as well right so two into this thing right we can write it like this so the weight is if we represent this weight as a vector right so then this weight as a vector is minus 490.5 k right so this is acting in the negative uh, z direction right so we will write 0 0 and this is minus 490.5 right and we will write plus again this j vector right so this j vector 0 1 and 0 and this ryc so ryc is again the same vector this is plus i so 1 0 and 0 and this t right so this is the t vector so we can write this t vector is minus 0 0.408 t then i will write minus 0 0.408 t and similarly let me write it here so this will be plus 0.816 k right so this is in this triple product right so we have two triple products and this will be equal to zero and this will be equal to zero so now if we find this and then this will be two and then this will be zero and then this will uh, then we need to hide this is one right so we will hide this one and this one so this is one into one into minus 490.5 minus zero and then this will be zero right so we will be only left with this and then this will be plus and similarly this is zero so this will give us zero and this is zero so we will only get the determinant from this column right so this is one and with one we need to write minus as well right so here we have found this by using this one uh, element of this determinant right so this one always accompanies with minus one right so this is the determinant method right so minus two into minus 490.5 similarly we will write minus and this will be one into 0 0.816 right so we will write 0 0.816 and here we have t as well right so 0 0.816 t and this will be equal to 0 so here in this equation we have only one known and which is t right so when we solve this so then t comes out to be 1201 newton right this is 1201.46 something right so this is approximately equal to 1201 newtons right so now we know the tension in that wire cd right 
now to find the reactions ax ay and z at point a so we can find the summation of moment at point b equals to zero so we will again use the vector analysis the cross product method right so we we can write that r cross a right we want to find the moment about point b this point right so for this a vector we can represent both uh, these three reactions as a vector a so we can write that a vector is a x i plus a y j plus a z k right so this is a vector so for a vector the moment arm from point b will be from b to a right so if we define that moment arm so that moment arm will be from b to a right so let me write that this is r b a and we will write plus and then we will find the the moment of this weight right so let's say that the moment arm for this weight is b to g right so i will write r b g cross w similarly i will write plus and the moment arm for this uh, weight will be b to c right so i will write r b c cross w and similarly plus the moment arm for this tension t and this wire is again this r b c right so i can write r b c cross t vector so this will be equal to zero now we will find all these cross products one by one right so r b a vector right so first we have to find the r b a vector so i will write the determinant this will be i j and this is k so r b a vector so the vector from b to a is 2 plus 2 right so this is uh, 4 in the negative y right so we will write minus 4 and there is no need to travel in the x direction and there is no need to travel in the z direction to reach that point a from b and similarly this a vector is a x a y and this is a z k then we will write plus r b g right so we will write i j and k so the vector from b to g so to reach this point g from b first we will travel two meters plus one meter right so this distance is one meters in the negative y direction so i will write two plus one so this is minus three and then in the x direction we will travel one meter distance in the positive x right so the here i will write plus one and there is no need to travel in the z direction so this is zero and similarly uh, this w vector is this is w vector right so the i component and the j component is zero and this is minus 490.5 and then we will write plus r b c so again i will write i j and k and the vector from b to c so to reach this point c from b first we will need to travel one meters in the negative y so i will write minus one and then we will travel plus one in the positive x right so i will write plus one and this is zero and then this w vector is again 0 0 and this is minus 490.5 then i will write plus i j and k and now uh, r b c so the vector from b to c will remain the same this r b c and this r b c both are same right so we will write plus 1 minus 1 and 0 and this t vector right so we can uh, put this t value in this uh, in this t vector and then we can find the components of the t vector right so if we put the value of this t in this uh, if we multiply this t with each term so then we will get the t vector like this right so this t vector will be equal to so this is 1201 multiply by this thing right so we will get minus and this is equal to 490.416 this is again minus and this is i and this is minus 490.416 j and this is plus and then this is 980 
0.832k right so this is our t vector right so now we can write here as this is minus 490.416 this is minus 490.416 and this is plus 980.832 right so now we will find all of these uh, determinants one by one right so we can write we can hide this row and this column so then this is minus 4 az and this is into i right and this is minus 0 right and then we will hide this column so this is 0 az and this is 0 ax so j term is 0 and then we will hide uh, this term right so then this is 0 and this is minus into minus so plus 4 a x k right similarly plus then we will hide this and this this is minus into minus plus so this is 3 into 490.5 i and then we will hide this column so this is minus 490.5 and 0 minus 0 right so this is and this j is with j there is always negative sign right so we will write plus minus into minus right so this is plus j and then we will hide this column so this is zero and then we will write plus then we will hide this row and this column or oh, this is minus into minus 490 so this is plus again 490.5 i and then the j with j there is always minus sign right so we will write minus and one into minus so this is minus so this will become plus it's 490.5 j and if we hide this so this is zero right so i will write plus and then we can find this determinant right so then we will hide this and this so this is minus into this thing right so this is minus minus 9 80.832 and this is i and then 0 then we will hide this so with j there is minus so i will write minus and this is plus 980.832 minus and this is 0 right so this is minus 980.832 and this will be j and then we will hide this so this is minus let me write it here so this is minus 490.416 minus i will write plus minus into minus plus and plus into minus minus right so this is minus 490.416 Right, so this is equal to 0 now we can add all the i terms right so this is i so we will write minus 4 a z then this plus 3 into 490.5 and then this plus 490.5 and then we have this i term and right, so this is minus 980.832i and this will be equal to 0 right since hold this this summation of moment about point b is equal to 0 right so the i j and k terms all will be equal to 0 right so from this equation we can find this a z right since all there is only one unknown in this equation so we can find this a z by using this equation so from this equation a z equals to 245.293 newtons right so this is a z now if we add up all the j terms right so if we if we add up all the j terms right so this is plus so i will write plus 490.5 and then we have this j term so again this is plus 490.5 right so this means then this is 2 times 490.5 and then this term right so this is minus 
980.83 so there is no another term of uh, with j right so this will be equal to 0 so this only validates that our summation of moment about uh, b equals to 0 calculation is accurate right so this will give us 0 right so this equation do not give us uh, any unknown right so now if we add up all the case terms right so this is k so we will write plus 4ax then we have this k term right so this is minus so this is minus 2 times this right so i will write minus 2 into 490.416 and this is equal to 0 so from this equation ax equals to 245.208 208 newtons so this is az and this is ax right now if we add up all the forces in the y direction so that will give us the ay reaction right so if we add up all the forces along y equals to zero so now as we can see that this ay is acting in the positive y direction so i will write ay similarly uh, the one component of this t vector is acting in the y direction and that component is minus 490.416 right so you will write minus 490.416 and this will be equal to 0 so only a y and one of the component of this t vector is acting in the y direction right and all all the remaining vectors are acting in the uh, x and z direction right so this is equal to 0 so from this we get a y so a y is equal to 490.416 newton now since we are asked to find the total reaction at point a right so the resultant reaction at point a so the resultant reaction at point a will be equal to a x square plus a y square plus a z square so then and we will take the square root right so ax is we know ax which is 245.208 so we will write 245.208 square plus ay is minus 490.416 square this is this is positive right so we will write plus and az is again 245.293 newtons and we will take the square root so this resultant reaction at point a equals to approximately 601 newtons right so the tension in the wire is equal to 1201 newtons and the reaction at the ball and socket joint is equal to 601 newton so this is the solution of this problem